Hey there, this is Kristen with K Design Co. And today I'm going to show you the new social grid widget in Show It and how to get it connected to your Instagram account so that you can display your Instagram feed on your Show It website. So before the rollout of this new feature that Show It has, uh, you had to use a separate app like Light Widget or Snap Widget, uh, but now they've integrated this functionality right inside of Show It, so it's really cool. You don't have to use a separate app. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to get started with this. So navigate to whatever page in Canvas you want to use um, the widget on. I'm just creating a test page um, and then go to the object and select social grid. So once you have that on the page, you can see this button where it says connect to Instagram. So you just click that and you'll get a pop-up like this, and then you'll just select connect Instagram. And since I'm already logged into my Instagram account, it's just asking me do I want to allow. So make sure you hit allow, and then I will be connected um, under show it. So once you see this success message, you'll just go back over to show it, and then you will be able to click back on the widget and then select your account. So it's going to auto feed. Um, your posts starting with the most recent for you and you have several options and settings you can change depending on what you want to show on your feed so you can also turn off your sh video posts and you can turn off carousel posts um, so you can only see certain types of posts if you only want to show image posts um, you also have the option to show captions when someone hovers over the image um, or you can just keep it clean and turn those off. Now the sizing of the images are dependent on the height, um, that, the height and how you uh, adjust the sizing on the canvas. So if I want a larger image, then I'm going to need to increase the height of this. And right now it's only feeding in as many posts that will wholly fit inside of this width of the widget but if I want it to go edge to edge and have some uh, bleeding off then you'll just need to select allow overflow and then you'll see that it starts to bleed in that next image even if it's cutting off of some of it so if you want that edge to edge just make sure you check allow overflow you can also change the gap so that the images butt up right next to each other if you want. You can also increase the number of rows if you want a lot of images. Um, I'll just keep mine to one row, but you can obviously add as many as you like. And then another thing, so right now it's bleeding off the edge on the right, but if you wanted to um, adjust how it's aligned, you can uncheck allow overflow and then you can either do left or right alignment or you could keep it centered and just have um, spacing on both sides you can also distribute the spacing between the images if you want just by checking auto space and then it will just fill in the space for you um, you can also do that so once you have the grid set up how you like on desktop you'll just need to hop over here to the mobile version and format it as well. So if you want, um, by default, you could just leave it like that or you can change some of the settings since the settings um, for the spacing and the rows are independent from mobile and desktop. So you can increase the size if you want, if you just wanted to show one or you can decrease the size. You can also um, change the number of rows, like I said. Um, so maybe you wanted to show like a row or a three by two grid. So you could do that and that would look really nice. Um, so you just get it however you like it on mobile and it can be independent from the desktop version like I said um, One last tip um, if you do want your images to truly go edge to edge um, Like I showed before Allowing the overflow is you'll just want to make sure that you not only check this box but also go back to your size and position and then do a horizontal locking and then that will create the true edge to edge feature in the browser. If somebody has a browser that's wider than 1200 and I'll also change the size. And 
and that way you can be sure that it will go edge to edge for you. So the last thing you'll want to be sure to do is you'll see this tab that says fallback images. So this will allow you to add images in case for some reason the Instagram feed becomes connected to Instagram um, or those images just aren't loading so that you don't have some kind of error or blank space on your site. These are the fallback images that it will use um, if that happens. So you can just go through and select obviously whatever images you want and then it will add them to a nice little gallery for you. I'm just picking random ones. Obviously you can spend more time to pick the ones you want and save and then if you do become disconnected to your Instagram, like I said, it will show these images instead. All right. I would love to hear any questions you have about the new social widget grid. Um, and if you like this video, please subscribe to my tips. Thanks.